Hey guys, Brandoni Productions here, and welcome to this tutorial. Now, this tutorial is actually um, a request by uh, who knows who. I'm sorry, I forgot your name, but somebody actually shot me up an email asking at me how to make passwords on a Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition project. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to make a simple program where you have to log in, and once you log in, it will show another form. Or something. Okay? So, it's a very simple process, but here's how it's going to work. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start a new project, uh, a new Windows Forms application. I'm just going to call it Password Creative, right? Yeah. So, we're going to wait for this to load. Now keep in mind that uh, making a password, there are several ways to make a password protected program in this uh, programming language, but I'm going to show you the easiest of all those ways. Okay, so now that we have our form, we are actually going to keep it just about the same size. Now first thing we're going to do is rename our form by clicking on the form, going into its properties and changing the text, I'm just going to change it into password. And what we're going to need is um, a text box where the user can type their username and a text box where the user can type their password. So we're going to add two text boxes right now. Okay. So now that we have this two text box, we're also going to add two labels so we can uh, show what these text boxes are all about. So we're going to change the text on the labels by clicking on the label and actually going to text. And I'm going to change this one to username. And this one to password. Then we're just going to move things around a little bit. Make things a little nicer. Now this isn't the nicest looking program, but it's quality, not quantity. Okay, and then once they're done, they need a button to push, so we're going to add a button and it, classically it is going to say submit okay now we're going to reset the form to fit and here's how it's going to work now when you type in your username on anything you can normally see what you're typing but when you type your password it's normally uh, something that hides the password so what we're going to do is click on the text box and go into its properties and we're going to find the property called character no, that's not it. We are going to find the property that is called, let me find it, password care. Now, this is a like a character on the keyboard that you should display when you actually type in things. So I'm going to make it so it displays shift 8, the asterisk. So every time something is typed into this text box, it will display as an asterisk, not a, or not whatever it is. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our text box names. Username is text box 1, password is text box 2. And we're going to double click on the submit button because this is what this is what we want to press when the action happens. So, we're first going to just type a simple if statement. So, as you remember from previous tutorials, if statements start with if and end with end if. So, we just made a simple block right there. Now, after the if, we can say if text box one dot text equals. Now, this coding, um, if the thing inside the text box, the text inside the text box equals whatever we're going to type. Um, we'll just say Brandon. Then. Now. If the stuff inside of the text box equals Brandon, then we're going to check if the password is right as well. So the password is text box 2, and we're going to see the stuff inside. And we're also going to make an end if for that. So if the username is right, then we're going to check if the password is right. The password is also going to be Brandon. Okay? So if these are both right, then what we are going to do is we are going to 
uh, display a message box with the message box command, msg box. Then we're going to open the parentheses, and now we type whatever we want to be in the uh, uh, the message box. So I'm just going to type login successful. Remember, anything you type has to be in the quotations unless it is a variable. So what we're actually going to do to experiment with that is we're going to make a variable. So if the password is correct, we're going to make a new variable with the dim command. Dim login as a string. Okay, so we're making a new variable and we're declaring it as a string. A string is something that holds text. Okay, so now we need to say what login is. We'll say login equals quotations login successful. And instead of displaying login successful in the message box, we'll actually display login, the variable, which will display this. Okay, now if the username is wrong, which will go right here, see, right here is one, uh, one if block, right? So this is the password if block, and this whole thing is the username if block. So the block ends right here at the end if. So right before it ends, we're going to type an else statement, which is saying if uh, the username box does not equal Brandon, then we're going to display a message box saying wrong username. Okay, and then in the uh, password if block, we're going to say if the uh, password box does not equal Brandon, we're going to say wrong password. Okay, so we have a basic password protected program here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to run it. Okay, so we have the form. Now, so for the username, we declared it was Brandon. And for the password, we also declared it was Brandon. And notice when I type Brandon, it uh, the asterisks appear instead of the actual word Brandon, because we set that. Now if we press submit, it's going to say login successful because we typed Brandon and Brandon. Now if I say the password wrong, maybe I'm going to type Bobby, and I press submit, it says wrong password, okay? And if I type the username wrong, Bobby, but the password right, Brandon, then it's going to say wrong username. But if we type them both wrong, It also just says wrong username. So if you type them both, the person will not know if they got the username or the password wrong, and they're just going to assume they got the username wrong. So thanks for watching this tutorial on how to make a password protected program. Um, all the source code can be found in the link in the description if you just are one of those people who watches the video and just wants the source code. But yes, thank you for watching this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, you can rate, you can comment, uh, make sure you're commenting. I love to hear your feedback. I want to know what I can do better in videos. Um, and uh, if you want to be really nice, you can donate to me. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay, well, thanks for watching this video, and have a great day.